morning, the first thing I did was check my weight. I was very happy to see that my weight was on point. So I was around 62.2 kilos, which is my, exactly the weight I need to fight at. Uh, prepare all the drinks and the food in the ice box in order to have everything ready as soon as I finish checking weight to drink and to eat without having to wait any longer. Start to rehydrate right away. So after getting everything ready, we got in the car and we went all the way to the, to the hotel where the other fighters were staying. And uh, we were arrived just in time where my opponent, when my opponent was actually on the scale. So I arrived, I went to check my opponent's weight. He was on point as well. So I was happy with that. And then uh, they got me right away on the scale. I stepped on the scale as well and my weight was on point as well and then after that they checked my pressure everything was fine the doctor said I was good to go and then I finally could start to drink some water okay I didn't have any water for more than 12 hours so after taking some photos and uh, getting interviewed by two or three journalists they were asking me the same exact thing so very boring Check weight done, passed, underweight actually, now we're rehydrating with a big bottle as you saw before and now just uh, eating some fruits to fill up the stomach because so hungry in the morning and a uh, small meal now and then we get home and eat some more food. Mm. So fresh. This is a very, very happy time for a fighter when you can finally drink after two or three days of cutting down water, cutting down food. It's a very, very uh, hard thing to do and a feeling that you really can't explain unless you've never done it. Like the feeling of needing liquids in your body, like your body asking for liquid, for water, and you're not, not, you're not able to give it to, to, to it. It's uh, something that uh, is very hard to put into words. I'm eating fruits because it's a good source of carbohydrates and also it is like a, satisfies my thirst because it's like water and I'm putting it together with ham because ham is protein and salt. So instead of eating bread which is dry, I'll eat bread later. I'm eating now some more wet kind of stuff. So at the moment I'm hungry, but most of all I'm thirsty. So this does both. Hot tea to compensate all the cold stuff. <laughs> big mess. Once we arrive at the stadium, the nerves start kicking in. We see the opponent, we see the ring, and uh, it's obviously time to get ready, so. But I don't have to go to the stadium, but I don't have to go to the stadium. I don't have to go to the stadium. Waiting to watch you on TV. Mm -hmm. We were on a very uh, strict schedule because the TV was going to be recording the fight. 
So right after we, we wrapped our hands, we started with the oil and Vaseline massage, which serves to warm up the body and to make it slippery as well and uh, ready for the fight and uh, trying to warm up the muscle as much as possible, again, without putting too much effort. So keeping the energy for the fight. You feel nervous, you are full of doubts. On the other side, you are very excited and uh, you want to get in there and you want to show what you're made of. But it's a very mixed feeling. You're scared at the same time, you're excited. And um, it's just uh, very, very hard. Like. Too much emotions, yeah, and I feel happy, obviously, and uh, yeah, I feel bad for speaking too much in the locker room, <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it's fine. Yeah, just happy and uh, my heart is beating fast. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, subscribe. <laughs>